This gold-plated pin can actually make you rich, so never throw it away. Let's find out how much gold we can extract from it today. Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we'll be extracting gold from these gold-plated pins. Now remember, this isn't pure gold, it's just gold-plated, which means there's a thin layer of gold on top of another metal. So, let's begin. First, we pour some water into the container and spread the pins evenly inside it. Let's add a little more water to make sure everything is covered. After adding the water, we'll pour in nitric acid. This acid will dissolve all the unwanted metals like brass, copper, or iron, and separate the gold from them. Now, as you can see, the reaction has started. It will begin to boil and all the gold will either rise to the top or settle at the bottom, while the base metals will completely dissolve. You can also light a small flame around the container to increase the temperature and make the reaction faster. As you can see, the acid is reacting now. Next, we add a small amount of HF acid. This strengthens the power of the mixture and helps the reaction complete faster. But be careful, bum. If you add too much, it can also destroy the gold itself. The reaction has clearly started, so now we'll seal the container and leave it overnight. Let's check the results in the morning. All right, it's the next morning, and let's see if our process worked. First, we remove the lid carefully, then lift the container to check the results. As you can see, all the pins are now floating in the acid. That means the unwanted metals have completely dissolved, and what's left behind is pure gold. If there had been any brass left, the pins wouldn't be floating. So the fact that they are means this is real gold. Sometimes a small portion of gold might still settle in the filter, so to be sure, we'll add another round of acid, just to double check that no brass or other metal remains. We also light the flame again beneath the container to speed up the process. Heating helps the acid work more effectively. Now we'll add just a little more HF acid again not too much, because we don't want to damage the gold. Honestly, I don't think there's much brass left, but let's check anyway. We want our gold to be as pure as possible. Next, we'll wash the filter thoroughly with clean water. This removes the remaining acid and allows the gold to settle in one place. And as you can see, we've got some thick, dense gold particles here. All extracted from those gold-plated pins. The process worked perfectly, and there's no brass left. To neutralize the acid completely, we'll add more water, filter it once again using a cloth, and rinse it properly. This makes sure any leftover acid or impurities are fully removed. Now, all of our gold is safely collected in the filter. Let's move on to the next step.
Now comes the exciting part. We'll add mercury to the collected gold. We pour a small amount of mercury into the bowl and gently stir it around. What mercury does is truly fascinating. It absorbs all the gold particles while the dirt and unwanted materials stay behind. That's the beauty of using mercury in this process. To make it work even better, we'll also add a little washing soda powder. This helps to remove any oil or stickiness that might be on the surface and allows the gold to properly attach to the mercury. Now we keep stirring it again and again, slowly adding water each time. This helps the gold gather in one place and bond tightly with the mercury. As you can see, the reaction is almost complete. The mercury has absorbed nearly all the gold. That means we're ready for the next step. Where we'll separate the gold back from the mercury. So now we pour the mercury gold mixture into a smaller bowl to clean it. We'll rinse it two to three times with water each rinse removing more dirt and impurities. After that, we wrap the mercury inside a piece of thick cloth and squeeze it gently. The pure liquid mercury drips down while the part containing gold stays inside the cloth. This method works just like a natural filter. You can actually see the mercury dripping down, drop by drop. And what remains inside is our gold-rich mercury. At the end of this process, we'll get a small white ball. This is a mix of mercury and gold. Don't worry, this is not the final stage. We'll now purify it completely in the next step. So here it is, that small white ball. It's a mix of mercury and gold, but the mercury amount is higher than the gold. Now we'll crush it into smaller pieces and shift it into a small clay bowl for purification. Next, we'll use nitric acid again. This acid will dissolve and remove all the remaining mercury, leaving behind only raw, pure gold. As soon as we pour nitric acid, the reaction starts immediately. The color of the acid begins to change and the mixture starts to boil. That means the purification process is in full swing. 
To speed up this process, we place a small flame underneath the bowl. The heat makes the reaction much faster. Now pay attention. As long as you see dark smoke, it means there's still mercury inside. When the smoke turns white, that's the sign that all the mercury is gone. Once the smoke becomes white, we'll add some water and wash it thoroughly. We'll repeat this washing process two to three times, pouring and draining water until every bit of acid is gone. Then we carefully dry the gold using gentle heat. When it's completely dry, we'll transfer the gold into a small clay melting bowl for the next and final step, melting the gold into a solid form. Now we take a small clay bowl and gently place all the raw gold dust inside. Before melting, we sprinkle a little borax powder over it. This helps purify and fuse the gold during heating. Next, we start heating slowly. We move the flame closer, little by little, so the gold can begin to melt evenly. As the heat increases, the raw gold starts to glow, liquefy, and form into a solid lump. If you have any questions about acids, materials, or steps, feel free to ask in the comments. We always reply. Finally, we have it. A small, shiny gold nugget, completely pure. This is 24 karat gold extracted from those gold-plated pins. You can see how clean, bright, and beautiful it looks. Now let's cool it down a bit and take a closer look. Just look at that shine. It's pure, real gold. So what do you think? How much gold do you think we got from those pins? Comment your guess below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. That's it for today's video. See you in the next one. Till then, goodbye.